Hello, today I want to share a video about fermentation, more specifically the browning method of fermentation. I'll introduce the concept and you can see some examples there. Uh, there's veggies, lemons and olives, all submerged in a salt water solution and that's pretty much basically what it is. And today I'd like to give two examples. I'll chop up some radishes and brine those and then we'll make some pickles, some homemade pickles as well. I'd like to start off with a short introduction about fermentation. And in the meantime, in the background, I'll be chopping up the radishes and the pickles, which we'll be using for the brining method later on. So then what is fermentation? Uh, I think it's probably one of the, if not the oldest way of preserving food, and yet it's still widely used nowadays. Um, many products that we all consume have been made through fermentation. So for example, there's beer, wine, and many other alcohol-related beverages. Uh, there's coffee, there's chocolate, there's tea, bread, yogurt, and the list is quite long once you start to think about it. There's even some estimates that say that about one third of all the foods eaten by human beings worldwide are fermented. Looking at fermentation from a more scientific point of view, it's usually defined as anaerobic metabolism, which means the production of energy from nutrients without oxygen. And now that's all very nice to know, but I think to me fermentation just means uh, a cooperation with countless tiny microbes to make food more digestible or palatable, more delicious, uh, funky, all those kinds of things. Uh, basically, it's just working together to change the product you started with into something uh, you like or you want to try. With the added bonus, of course, that the foods and the drinks that you ferment uh, usually are preserved in such a way that they last longer than their fresh counterparts. Great, I got that off my chest. Now let's look at what we want to be doing today, and that will be the brine method. I'd say that brining is one of the two more well-known ways of fermenting veggies, or mostly veggies, the other one being the dry salting method. And dry salting is usually known from sauerkraut, so you take your veggies, add salt in between and squish them and use the juices from the veggies themselves. Whereas the brining method is you take your veggies and submerge them in a salt water solution, which usually will be a three to five percent salt. Now let's have a look at what that looks like with two examples, the radishes and the pickles. Then the next step is to add the salt to the water. You can't really see it, but there's uh, a, a dash right on the bottom there, which says it's 500 mils, approximately 500 milliliters of water. And the nice thing about water is milliliters pretty much is the same as grams. So you can do a one-on-one -on -one conversion and will take about three to five percent of the total weight of the water which is 500 grams and then we'll add that uh, as the salt so three to five percent i'll take five percent in this example that leads to approximately 25 grams uh, it's more or less it's not an exact science that's what i like about fermenting so we'll take the salt and add it to the bowl. I'll give that a quick stir, make sure the salt's dissolved, and then there's one last thing that we need to do. So before I add the water, I snuck in a few herbs and spices, put those on the bottom, and the reasoning behind that is because you'll submerge everything in water, and by putting them on the bottom, they'll stay at the bottom, uh, mostly. Uh, this is also the point where you add fresh garlic, onions, uh, chives, all kinds of funky stuff that you would like to add to your ferment to add flavor and funkiness. And so now we're going to add the brine solution, the salt water solution, which is about 5% salt dissolved into water. The most important thing is to make sure that the veggies are covered. They are submerged. So same thing again for the pickles. I took about 25 grams of salt, measured it, and then added it to 500 milliliters of water, and I dissolved it, as you can see. And from there on, we are going to simply add it to the pickles to be. The 
The final step of the fermentation process is the waiting game. We've been waiting now for about a week and as you can see both the radishes and the pickles have been fermenting nicely. Whilst you wait it's always nice to taste and have a try and whenever you feel that the taste is perfect or as nice as it'll be, so for example we tasted the pickles and they're perfect, we'll chuck those into the fridge because that slows down the fermentation, especially in the summertime it tends to go quite quickly. Um, but put your ferments on a visible place so that you're reminded that they're there, uh, like this little shelf that we have with our fermentation products. And overall, I hope that I've made clear that brining and fermentation is not a complex thing. It's relatively easy and straightforward. You simply have to take some of your veggies or even your fruits. You put them in a three to five percent salt water solution and then you wait until they're perfect and then you enjoy. So thank you for watching and see you next time.